Thank you, very, thank you very much. I am honored to be here to present the Paul Selvin Award to Liz Hanna and Josh Singer. The abundant talents of Josh and Liz delivered an inspirational story about journalists who challenged authority to reveal the truth to the American people, and about the Washington Post publisher who had the courage to defy the President of the United States in the face of terrifying risks. In telling the story of the Pentagon Papers and Catherine Graham, who made the impossibly difficult but necessary decision to publish them, Josh and Liz gave the public two models that should anima animate us today. One is a model for journalists and writers such as yourselves, because those who practice free expression need to stand up to intimidation, even if it emanates from the most powerful person on earth. The truth about our government must never be suppressed. We often think of the First Amendment as a statement of principle, but it is more than that. It is a call to action. Our rights are meaningless if we do not exercise them. The Post makes that clear. And in their riveting screenplay for The Post, Liz and Josh gave us another model, the model of the extraordinary Catherine Graham. She endures as a model for women whose voices must be heard, whose wisdom must be welcomed, and whose bravery must be championed. And she serves also as a model for men because we will more often do the right thing if we listen better. As a journalist, as a citizen, and as today's beneficiary of the good and fearless acts of Catherine Graham and Washington Post editor Ben Bradley, I am immensely grateful that Josh and Liz communicated so eloquently the value of the liberties we enjoy and the duty all of us have to protect them. Congratulations, Liz and Josh. Um, we have to thank Marty Barron, who is doing the amazing work every day that uh, we need to accept. Um, I joined the Writers Guild in March off of this movie, so I'm just going to shout that out really quick. Um, thank you to the Writers Guild for this award. This is an incredible honor, uh, not only to be recognized among the group of writers that have come before us, but to be recognized for this film, um, which really means so much to both of us. Um, when I first sat down to write this spec that I thought would never be sold or made into a movie or really anything, um, I had one goal, which was to tell the story of Catherine Graham. I sold this script to Amy Pascal 10 days before the 2016 presidential election, and as the subsequent events of the last year have unfolded, the goals have grown. Because we realized we were writing about the past to tell the story of our present. We were writing to remind everyone that your voice can be heard and that your voice has value. That no matter how many people tell you that you're not good enough, all you need to do is listen to yourself and speak up. We want to tell the story of the press, of the brave journalists at the Washington Post, the New York Times who stood up in the face of suppression from their government. We need journalists now more than ever because every day under the current administration, well, administration, that's word. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, Every day during the current administration, the truth is under assault. The truth, which at one point, not too long ago, was indisputable. And it's not just the truth that we have to defend. We have to combat bigotry, racism, and sexism from every corner, even from the West Wing of the White House. 
We have a responsibility not only as artists but as citizens to speak up and to give voice to those who cannot be heard on their own. They can be small stories, they can be big stories, they can be on film, on television, on your phone, they can be anywhere, but they have to be. And we have to put them there. It starts with writers. Uh, it's hard not to be in this room and be inspired uh, by the work that's been done this year, um, by the speeches that have come before us. Um, uh, and uh, we want to thank all the people who helped us find our voices, uh, some of whom are sitting right here in this room, uh, and uh, especially those who've helped us find our voices on this project. Amy Pascal and Christy McCosco krieger uh, two of the best uh, producers in the business as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Tom and Merrill and the rest of our incredible cast, uh, and of course the incomparable incomparable Steven Spielberg, uh, who uh, I have to say, we were lucky enough to spend uh, a couple days on set with that guy, and uh, it is a master class. I would highly recommend it. Uh, thank you to Stacy and Emma and Kieran, everyone at Fox, and everyone at DreamWorks, and uh, 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 Tim and Trevor at Star Thrower for supporting us. And of course, the Graham family, uh, Don and Lally and Will, who gave us a ton of their time, Sally Quinn and the Bat Bradley family. Uh, all of you all uh, let us tell this story uh, as accurately as we possibly could. Uh, and lastly, we have to thank the Post and the Times uh, for their dedication to getting this story right way back when. Uh, and in the 45, 46 some odd years since, uh, the way they and so many other journalists have really uh, done everything they can to get the story. Uh, Justice Black said in his opinion back then um, that uh, only a free and unrestrained press can effectively expose deception in government. Uh, I think that's something we all can uh, agree on. Thanks very much.